Daily Break, Thursday, January 7, 2021, Thursday after Epiphany. Daily Break, Thursday, January 7, 2021, Thursday after Epiphany. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus acted with the power of the Spirit, and on his return to Galileo, the news about him spread throughout all that territory. He began teaching in the synagogues of the Jews, and everyone praised him. When Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he entered the synagogues on the Sabbath, as he usually did. He stood up to read, and they handed him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Jesus then unrolled the scroll and found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and new sight to the blind, to free the oppressed, and to announce the lost year of mercy. Jesus then rolled up the scroll, gave it to the attendant, and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he said to them, Today this prophetic words come true, even as you listen. All agreed with him and were lost in wonder while he spoke of the grace of God. Nevertheless, they asked, Who is this but Joseph's son? The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to appreciate and live out your calling as a child of God. The rest readings are appropriate this Epiphany week. The Gospel gives us another shining upon our revelation. This time Jesus is manifested to the people of Nazareth, the town in which he was raised. Some come to see Jesus in a new light and as the new light. The reading from first letter of St. John reminds us that we are sons and daughters of God. As I reflected on these readings, I am reminded of what baptism was for Jesus and what it should be for us. When John the Baptist baptizes Jesus in the river Jordan, Jesus is manifested and revealed as the Son of God as his upper father speaks these words, You are my beloved Son, on you my favor rests. Also, the Holy Spirit, in the form of a dove, appears over Jesus. This is the marked beginning of Jesus' public ministry. From this event, Jesus goes forth to proclaim the good news of the reign of God. Thus, the two key points of Jesus' baptism are that He is manifested as the Son of God and that his mission is confirmed by the Holy Spirit. St. Luke built on the second of these key points in today's Gospel. Jesus returns to his hometown and begins his mission ministry in the synagogues by reading from the prophet Isaiah, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, therefore has anointed me, has sent me to bring good news to the poor. The Holy Spirit anoints Jesus as the Anointed One, the Messiah, the Christ, the One chosen to proclaim good news, liberty and freedom, healing and a time of favor from God. This is Jesus' mission. This is why he was sent to be born in human flesh, this is his ministry. 
In the first reading today, St. John builds on the other team from Jesus' baptism, manifestation as the Son of God. John reminds us that we too are sons and daughters of God the Abba, not by direct descent, but by our adoption through baptism. As daughters and sons of God, we must love not only our Abba and our brother Jesus, but all of the other adopted daughters and sons of God, and all who potentially could become sons and daughters of God. We are liars if we say we love the Abba and do not love our brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus, the other adapted or potentially adapted children of God. As I reflect on these readings, I realize that by baptism, we are truly made part of the family of God. It is not just a personal relationship between God and me. Baptism brings us into relief relationship with other people. We are called to treat others as fellow members of a loving family. We are also called to share in the mission, ministry of our brother Jesus. We too have been anointed by the Holy Spirit. We too are called to proclaim the good news to others, to announce liberty to those in bondage not only physical, but more importantly, spiritual, emotional, and intellectual bondage. We share in the call of to announce healing, wholeness, and salvation. We are to be a witness to a time of favor from the Lord Jesus and His Abba Father, all in and through the Holy Spirit. Thus, because we are united through baptism, we are sons and daughters of God our Abba. We have a quite a responsibility to and for others. We need to look at the way we treat others. Do we treat them in the way loving siblings should treat our siblings? Are we willing to do anything we can to help the other members of our spiritual fa- family? Or do we take them for granted, expecting them to do for us without us doing anything for them? And are we proclaimers of good news, liberators of those held in some form of captivity, do we work for others' wholeness, helping them better themselves in a positive environment as we signs of the time of God's favor being bestowed on others? Today's readings are challenging for our daily life. It reminds us of our mission, our ministry. It reminds us of our relationship with others, the assurance of the Holy Spirit's help in is also there, for there is no way we can do this without spirit action in our lives. The personal question or action for today, when I reflect on Jesus' empowerment in and through the Holy Spirit, what thoughts and feelings do I have? Am I consciously aware that I too have been empowered by the Holy Spirit through my being adapted as a child of God. How do I live out my mission, ministry as a child of God? How do I proclaim the good news to those around me, those who are my sister and brothers in Jesus? How do I proclaim the good news to those around me, those who are my sisters and brothers in Jesus. Let us pray. Lord God, blessed are you. Lord God, our loving parent, through your goodness, 
You manifested your presence with your son Jesus. You epiphanied your Holy Spirit working in Jesus' life. You reveal Jesus' mission and ministry of announcing your good news, freedom, healing, favor, salvation, for all who accept the call to be part of your family. Your daughters and sons, through Jesus and your Holy Spirit, we thank you and praise you for inviting us to be a part of your family, for welcoming us to share in the life and ministry of Jesus. May we proclaim your message to those with whom we come in contact. We know that you have also anointed us with your Holy Spirit, so we will have for the wisdom, knowledge, and strength to be messengers of your gospel. As always, we pray this of you through your Son, our brother and Savior, Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Hãy subscribe